All right. What's going on, everybody? Hope you are having a good Thursday morning. Um, off to a good start over here in Austin, Texas. Um, Want to give you guys a second to trickle in. Let us know where you're coming in from. But today, excited, we have Asif here from WP Schedule Posts. For those of you who don't know, WP Schedule Post is a plugin for WordPress that's an editorial content calendar tool that helps to streamline your content strategy and optimize productivity for your WordPress website. And today, Asif is going to be going on a walkthrough and kind of a demo of the product for you so you can get to see how you would be able to, to use it, get it plugged in for your business, your WordPress site, things like that. Um, before we get going, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop those in the Q&A box below the video. And also, we will be sending out a replay of this webinar later. So if you miss anything, you have to pop out early at any point. Don't worry. We got you covered. We'll take care of you there. Um, but without further ado, Steve, thank you for, for joining this morning. Uh, hi. Thank you, everyone. Uh, should I start? Yeah, you can, you can go into it. And I'm going to turn off my camera so I'll be less distracting and you can go into the walkthrough. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for actually watching us. I, I know a lot of you will be actually watching when we are uh, doing the replay. Uh, so WP uh, Schedule Post is a plugin that we created uh, almost like six years ago. Uh, I was uh, managing a large uh, media publication in the time and the common complaint I was actually having in the time that when uh, the editor or the author is actually posting something, they, they, they have to schedule things a lot. If you have like multiple author, if you want to actually plan something uh, that is going to uh, come live later. But in that time, the editor and author are always complaining that uh, they don't know like when the other post is scheduled. Because in WordPress, in default screen, it just shows like this post is scheduled on some particular date. It doesn't show the time. And uh, it creates a lot of confusion. So to reduce the confusions, uh, I created uh, this nifty little tools called uh, WP Schedule Post. Uh, it, it was a, like a little uh, post that actually shows uh, this kind of uh, uh, schedule list that when is some uh, post actually uh, going live or is the time who is actually writing it. That was it. Uh, it was like that for a few years. Uh, we did not have any premium version for a few years then. Uh, we feel like almost uh, over like five, 6,000 companies, uh, mostly actually publications or blog, uh, are actually using schedule posts. And I did a, re uh, like I sent send out a survey, like what do they want more? What uh, kind of features they need more? Uh, in the time, uh, I got a lot of like feedback and people also said like if there is a premium version and they're willing to pay up to like $100 for it, if they get those features per, per year. So uh, from their uh, feedback, I started working on a pro version plan, but still uh, with a lot of other things, it uh, took uh, some time. This year, I uh, joined up with my few partners, uh, Mr. Shah Jalal and uh, my other partners, and we decided uh, let's do uh, the pro version, WP Schedule Post Pro, and uh, we released the WP Schedule uh, Post Pro, and. Uh, uh, it comes with a lot of features. So today I'm actually going to explain what, uh, how everything works. At the beginning, let's look at like the main features. Our, one of the main features is schedule calendar. You will be able to see all of your like schedule post in uh, this post calendar. It will show like what's actually being scheduled in a particular week. You could go week by week or month. And we also have an auto scheduler function. I will actually explain you. This is like a very exciting features that I wish like I had like five, six years ago, this kind of like scheduling tools. A, a lot of like confusions could be completely avoided by just using this auto scheduler. It has like manual scheduler and auto scheduler. I will explain both. Uh, just uh, this month, we uh, released this auto social sharing feature. So try to think about a scenario like uh, you have uh, authors, you have uh, writers who are writing the content, but then, then generally you need like marketing team, right? Maybe, maybe you are a small team. You don't have like a lot of uh, budget for hiring like marketing team. So, but you still have to share your content to Twitter or Facebook instead of like hiring more people or paying uh, per month or for buffer or like or those, like, those tools. You could actually just uh, maybe uh, schedule post uh, inside WordPress dashboard and uh, it will be automatically shared in social media. How cool it will be. So we actually build that feature as well. And another uh, problem you might have faced a lot if you have seen, uh, if you are actually scheduling content for a while, 
you would see like a WordPress in generally sometimes actually miss uh, the schedule post. It, it actually missed to publish the schedule post. So we have a feature that actually handles the missed uh, schedule post. So le let's go and drive back in, in in our dashboard. So when you install WP Schedule Post, you will actually see a, you will see this dashboard. It will actually appear in your WordPress dashboard. So in general, we also have a, like a, uh, like a, uh, getting started kind of a screen that will actually connect you with all the settings and it will actually take you all the inputs and uh, it, it will actually make things far easier. But for now, I will actually show you mainly the our uh, basic uh, setting screen. So in general, if you look at, I will explain all of the features. In general, you will see so schedule post in WordPress dashboard wizard. So if you turn this on, what it will do, I will actually uh, show you in the dashboard. So what it will do, it will actually show you uh, the all the schedule post in, in, in the dashboard. So, but uh, we also have uh, turn off and on features for uh, showing the site-wide admin bar. Uh, this admin bar, you could actually turn it on and off. Uh, and uh, show schedule post in site-wide admin bar and only in admin bar. So it's possible to show when you are logged in, it's possible to show like when you are even outside as well. Like uh, here, you could actually show it even outside as well. So uh, now uh, WP schedule post uh, could actually handle any post type. So if you look at like this post type configurations, we are configuring it for post page, uh, elementor library and also product. So uh, it could actually handle any of the post type. So we are doing that for a reason. I will actually explain this for product and other things as well. You could actually configure it for all category or you could actually timeline it only for like for, for particular categories. You could restrict access to uh, admin or only author, only contributor. Maybe you don't want to actually show those to your contributor uh, because they don't need to know like when some particular post is actually going to be published. Uh, there is like another thing that uh, we are actually keeping it like uh, collapse uh, uh, by default. So in this thing, you could actually configure how this list will look like. So th this looks a little bit like a uh, complicated code, but it's actually not. If you look at like th there is like uh, suggestions, like how it works and what kind of features, uh, what kind of information you want to show. There is like date format and everything. This is for advanced users. So I decide to keep it collapse and show post publish immediate button. So what it does, I will, when I will actually open up a, a post screen button, you will see like there is an option that when you schedule a post, it will be automatically be live, but it will actually show like future post. So you could turn this on and off as well. Uh, let's go into manage schedule. Uh, here is the, the sweetest part of uh, schedule post. So at the beginning, let's look at like manual schedule. So here in these configurations, we have the manual schedule turn on. Uh, you could see like there is all the day of the week and we have some of the dates uh, selected. So let's try to like uh, see how it works. Maybe select like Wednesday and maybe I want one content to get published at 9 a.m. in Wednesday. And let's uh, click save schedule. It will actually come into here and it's automatically saved. So how it works, so you are sheet in, allowing some of the post time in a particular week. So in this week, I'm, I'm keeping a manual schedule for Saturday uh, 12, uh, also like Monday uh, 5 p.m., Monday 5, 10, Tuesday 9 a.m., Wednesday 9 a.m., Tuesday uh, uh, 2 p.m. There is no need of uh, two, Tuesday 2 p.m. So I, let me schedule once again. And what happens? Okay, it's saving it out loud and uh, so uh, I, I will actually go to a new post and I will actually show you how this thing looks like. So let's go to another screen. So uh, if you look at this screen, you will be able to see like uh, uh, if I want to actually, let's see like this title. And uh, you see like there is options uh, when you want to actually publish and it, it will actually uh, show you all the available dates of this week.
So in which date you want to actually publish. It, it actually shows like latest five. So it's actually showing latest five. Maybe I want it to publish on Wednesday. That's what I just actually picked. So just uh, click the Wednesday, uh, maybe write a like random text and let's click schedule so it will actually schedule it on that that particular time and uh, if you uh, look back you will see like it's actually automatically scheduled on there so uh, now let's turn uh, this uh, manual schedule off and turn automatic schedule on so in automatic schedule you don't have control when is a post is actually going to be published it depends on the, like start time so for us maybe start time at 9 a.m and end time, I don't want something to be published very late. So maybe it's just uh, maybe maybe uh, up to uh, 5 p.m. So from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, I'm uh, planning to publish all the posts. So in Sunday, I don't want any post to be published. In Monday, maybe I want one post to be published. In Tuesday, I want maybe two posts to be published. In Wednesday, maybe I want uh, just one. Thursday, I don't want any post. Friday, maybe just one. And Sunday is zero. So let's save all those. Now let's go back and try to create another post. So let's uh, click uh, this title two. Uh, Let's write something, some text. And uh, if you look at here, uh, you will see uh, it's actually shooting a random number on Friday 8 because we, should, we asked to actually schedule one post in Friday. So it's giving us like 12.59. So it's almost like one. So it's okay for me. Uh, let's get you, click, click schedule and let's go back the schedule post calendar is updated now you could see it's actually being scheduled here already so uh it's actually up to you like what kind of uh setup you are actually running it, it depends on you uh th that how you want to actually uh, uh see something uh let's actually uh, let me uh go back to manual schedule and save all of these I will actually use manual schedule, so it's published only the time I designated. Uh, now let's go back to uh, social schedule, how it works. So those are uh, our social uh, configurations here in this case. I am actually using uh, our own app and the configuration is here. I don't want to actually stay in this screen, so all the key and other things is visible. I will actually delete this app anyway, so there is no security issues. So if you uh, configure Twitter, then you have to actually uh, create an app. And uh, let me go back and show you uh, our documentation. And uh, I will actually uh, go through, uh, I will show you like uh, how the setup and other configuration works. So this is uh, our tutorial for how to configure uh, the Facebook uh, uh, share. So uh, you have to go to Facebook uh, developer account, create an app, give some basic permissions. Uh, those are very basic. Uh, the steps is like uh, one by one. Uh, this is not like some uh, one click because Facebook require you to actually uh, go through all the steps and uh, have the domain and other things. Uh, then you uh, have a button to uh, get the, the access key as uh, when you input those uh, uh, app key, uh, app ID and uh, secret key, uh, generate the secret key button. It, it will actually show you your page. It, it will let you connect to your pay, uh, page where you want to actually submit for post and you will be able to actually configure here. So when uh, what we are actually trying to do right now is actually have an app uh, approved from Facebook. So then you don't have to actually uh, get your own app. We are still like uh, pending with Facebook. Uh, we submitted all the documentations. It requires all the like legal documents and other things. Just we submitted those uh, just a few days ago. ago. Uh, generally, uh, maybe they will take like a few days to get uh, all of the update. 
so I, I think like uh, we'll be uh, get it live by 15 of this month. And uh, in that case, uh, we, if all the pro user, you will actually receive an update. And in that case, the, you will have like two options in here. Use our app or use your own app. So when you are using our app, all the app secret and key details will be already uh, in here. You just have to click the generate access key button. We hope to bring it as soon as possible. And let me show you how the Twitter things works. It's almost the same thing. We also have a video for Twitter as well. You have to create an app. You have to verify your applications. You have to input all the details in here. And uh, I, I will show you how to create the social template and how to share. Uh, and that's it. Like when your post is published, uh, you will, uh, it will get like automatically shared in uh, Twitter. So let me share the social template thing. So you could control how you want to actually show, uh, send your content to uh, Twitter or Facebook. And you could actually even like uh, configure uh, Twitter and Facebook separately as well. So maybe I want like title, then I want like a little bit of space, uh, content, and maybe another space and have a hyphen then e url and you could also have the options to get all your tags uh, added as a like tag in here uh, there is options to add your category as tag as well and there is also options for uh, use your post thumbnail uh, for uh, at, uh, attach with the post as well you just have to actually like configure however you want uh, click uh, save and you are basically done and then it will actually handle rest of the things. Uh, the sweet part about uh, these configurations and uh, all the settings is uh, we are actually bringing more control. The, the Twitter uh, template uh, builder you are seeing is actually uh, getting like a, a overhaul in future. In future, you will be able to like visually see how your content is actually going to look like in here. And uh, I, I want to actually share uh, this, uh, to everyone that uh, we have like a very uh, interesting roadmap coming up. So a lot of things are actually coming in future that we uh, already have listed. You could see like the Twitter and future integrations are live. We are actually released all of those uh, uh, this month. Uh, so what you are actually getting through uh, the, this deal is actually uh, kind of like a, uh, a, a bit uh, like uh, more uh, access to a, like a robust tool that is actually uh, coming in future. If you look at our roadmap, you will be able to see a lot of more integrations is actually coming very soon. We got like 19 vote for LinkedIn integration. What I'm thinking right now is actually bringing uh, LinkedIn integration even within a week. Uh, the developer just actually reported to me that uh, almost like 35% of LinkedIn development is already done. So uh, I, I think uh, it's actually uh, be a very interesting integrations. We also have uh, Twitter integration, uh, Google My Business integration and Facebook group integrations coming within this quarter. Uh, but I do think like a lot of those are actually uh, be available um, within uh, this month. Uh, some of the things are a little bit complicated with the way WordPress actually configured things like uh, uh, schedule republish. So if a post is already published, maybe you, you want to actually publish it again. So just uh, changing the publish time. So this thing has like 17 votes already. Uh, I don't know like uh, how, how, how people are going to use it. In, 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 so many people are like, so excited about it. Uh, but uh, it's a good suggestion from the community and we are willing to actually work uh, for our customer, like how it actually makes sense uh, for them. Overall, uh, the, the main feelings I have is uh, kind of like uh, WP schedule post uh, actually being uh, created from uh, the, the community uh, and uh, my own need, how we could actually uh, create something uh, that actually makes sense to publishers, to blogger, uh, to anybody who create contents. And over the time, uh, with the use, with the feedback from the user, with our own use case, we got like uh, a, even a more robust uh, tools. And uh, with the social sharing, uh, with uh, lots of more integrations coming, and also like a lot of like exciting features that we have not seen ever, uh, like uh, 
post reshare kind of things and also like uh, in in future we are also looking forward to uh, auto share in social media have a like separate calendar for social media that could be a like game changer and oh i already shown you like how it works with the product uh, or any post type right so let let me show you like what that mean so if uh, let, let's consider you have like woocommerce product and if you go through woocommerce product uh, inside you will be able to see there are like uh, uh, it's actually available inside uh, product as well so let's uh, just try to think about let's create a product and i will show you like how it works and uh, i will also like uh, share interesting idea how this could be a like game changer for a lot of like uh, e-commerce so try to think like uh, you have a store where so maybe maybe you uh, sell uh, like uh, dog food and uh, you have like different variants and different things so you put up like all the details and you have the social sharing and everything already configured and you, you could see like whatever the post details the price everything you write and you want this particular product to go live on November 9 on a particular time 12 a.m. I maybe you don't want to get it like this late but just for the sake of discussions unless you want that so you select that you schedule what will happen the product will go live only on particular time and uh, WP schedule post have you covered so you will not get like any post miss or something here even if your WordPress has like a cron trailing or any of the other issues doesn't have like too many traffic or something there's the main one of the main reason to get like post uh, not being published if any of those happen schedule post will handle and moreover if you are scheduling in that time what will happen when the post go live the social share it, it the product will automatically go live in uh, social media as well so if you have like engaging facebook or twitter uh, uh, customers and user base they, they will be able to see the product on particular time and you know like uh, we got this idea that it is probably actually possible to use this thing inside even uh, elemental template as well so in elemental template what happens uh, you are able to uh, like uh, uh, like if you look at this website maybe this pricing needs to go live only on a particular time how about you actually save this as a like global template and you time this template on a particular time because you could use like a, a schedule post to handle even template as well so what will happen the, that part of template will not be visible until it actually goes live so uh, that opens up door to a lot of like interesting kind of things that you could do with WordPress that you did not knew before that a particular portion of your website could be hidden until some certain time in particular that time that things will be visible so uh, like uh, possibility is endless with WP schedule post is is not a uh, it's not like a uh, just a shiny product is a product that actually really has use case you don't need to use a lot of other separate plugins other separate tools you are uh, going to need to pay per month for social sharing or editorial calendar uh, if you just look at uh, even our post calendar that's probably one of the most beautiful uh, calendar you have seen in wordpress so uh, we completely rebuild the calendar uh, this month so you are able to even create post uh, right from the calendar as well so th th this thing in particular uh, is uh, has a lot of like use case that's possible with the uh, wp schedule post you, you could create like new draft you could actually uh, take the draft and post into here the, it shows all the other things and even uh, if you want to actually drag some uh, post that is being scheduled already to set different date you could just uh, drag and drop and it, it will actually change the position as well so uh, with the calendar and with a lot of like more uh, features coming in in, in uh, that you could actually find out in our roadmap uh, i'm really really excited with uh, wp schedule post and i, I do you really think uh, we have like tons of things that we could actually do with the uh, schedule post uh, let's look at uh, some of the questions that's uh, been open here uh, 
someone uh, anonymous attendees is asking like very impressive plugin. However, my concern is the speed. A lot of process. Will it impact on speed? Uh, that's the interesting part. There is no impact on speed because when you are your visitor is actually coming, they are coming on front end. In front end, unless like you are logged in, there is actually nothing we are adding to your front end. So it does not have any impact on speed. When you are back end, when you are actually opening up the calendar, uh, in this particular calendar, this being uh, done uh, in very smart way. So uh, as uh, I am involved with WordPress for uh, almost uh, 15 years, uh, so we are kind of like experienced to uh, do things in a good way. We know like what's actually a good process to do with WordPress, what's not. So what we did for this particular pro project in this screen, let's think about like you have like tons of posts, maybe you have like 1000 posts scheduled for a month. So when you are actually um, like uh, 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 loading this space, what generally a, uh, like loading process will do, it will actually try to load all the posts at a time. But we don't do that. What you do, we, do, it, we will actually show only like particularly two or three posts and rest of the things is actually uh, like show like more tab button. If you click on that, it will actually load from there. We are using like uh, uh, the REST API built in inside WordPress. So we have more plan to make it even like more robust in future as well. When you enable it for different post type, you have like uh, so many other calendars, so many uh, other process going on. If you still do that, we will have like a, a very robust process to uh, track only few posts at the beginning and uh, not have like a ton, uh, tons of like a, a, a other uh, process running a, at the same time. So this doesn't actually uh, slow your process at all. So it is very safe. It is, uh, uh, there is no like uh, a, a concern about uh, load or anything. Uh, is there any other uh, questionnaire or anything left? Uh, there are a few other questions I could see uh, th there's being answered already. Uh, Chris, uh, uh, do, do you uh, think we should uh, be showing anything more or? Uh, yeah, we, no, we that, that is great. Um, and I don't see any other questions on here, but one thing we could do if you want to navigate over to the AppSumo page and just go over the actual details of what's included in this deal, I think people would appreciate that. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the AppSumo page. Uh, So uh, I'm still sharing my screen. Uh, yep. So we have only one pro version. So there is no separate pro version for AppSumo and pro version in our website. There is no confusion. There is one single thing and all the future pro feature will be always be included for AppSumo. There is no catch. So all the things you could see in the roadmap is actually coming uh, to you as well. And uh, here in, uh, if you go through our AppSumo page, appsumo.com slash WPC post, uh, you will see that uh, a nice video walkthrough by uh, Christy. Uh, she's the best. And uh, <laughs> though, though I tried to show all the features, how it works, but it's still like her video is like more enjoyable. And uh, we also features uh, the main dashboard of WP schedule post, like what are the main core features, the core features, auto schedule, manual schedule, miss schedule handler and auto scheduler handle. And uh, it also selects like all the options. Uh, the good part, like if you are installing schedule post uh, right now today, uh, when you enable the, the pro version or the free version, you will actually go through the getting started screen. That screen will actually uh, very intuitive. So it will actually take input from you and uh, the, uh, your uh, configuration will be already done within a minute. If you just actually install and go through the one, two, three, four steps. So it, it, uh, I already explained about how all the features works. And we also, uh, we are also showing like how drag and drop and other features works. And the calendar is actually got a little bit uh, like overhaul and change of design after uh, this uh, screen is made. Uh, but you, you could actually just install the free version and uh, uh, look at like how it looks. Uh, in pro version, you'll be able to configure the uh, the share uh, share configurations, uh, also the social template and everything. Uh, let me go back and share a little bit uh, about like how the uh, 
configurations, especially the license and other thing works. So when you uh, uh, purchase from AppSumo, you will be able to actually uh, complete the purchase and get your license. So uh, in this screen in license inside a schedule post, you have to actually in, uh, input your license and activate. So uh, the, the, this is something is very, very easy and uh, smooth. Uh, there is no confusion. And uh, it also describes a little bit how the auto schedule and manual schedule works and also the plan. So we are actually uh, giving a exclusive offer with AppSumo where if you buy one code, you get like five site license and all the features. If you buy two code, you get 10 site uh, and all the features. Uh, but uh, if you purchase three code, then you unlock unlimited site. You don't need to actually purchase any of the site uh, or you need to actually worry about like how many website you are actually managing or, or doing inside uh, in your license. It will be unlimited for you. Uh, this is a, a very limited time deal and we uh, look forward to actually uh, with these good offers from AppSumo and uh, see oh, what we could actually uh, do in future. Please uh, like uh, give more input about what we should do in futures and uh, we have the plugin in .org where you are able to actually review or give us feedback. We also have all the uh, core of the free versions in uh, GitHub where you could actually, uh, if you have a like, technical need or any technical uh, feedback, you could actually give that as well. Uh, I think uh, we have uh, a very good product that's uh, like uh, very usable and useful for a lot of people, not only just a publisher or blogger, it, it helps a lot of people who are even just publishing by themselves. Maybe you uh, want to just write one blog post each, uh, each and every week and you don't want to actually uh, do the timing uh, always separately. So you just have to uh, enable the manual schedule and uh, you just have to select the time and date when you want to actually publish. And whenever you are writing a content, you just have one button to click. You don't have to go through like WordPress schedule thing. Uh, the WordPress post schedule thing is a, the default scheduler is a little bit like confusing sometime to a lot of people. I have seen it like people uh, like selected the, the month wrong and is, uh, get published in a wrong month or something. So you don't need to go through that and social uh, publish and republish thing will actually give, be a game changer for anybody who is actually doing content. Yep, uh, I think like uh, we, we are almost like done here. Uh, what do you think, Chris? Yeah, no, that, that's great. We can, we can wrap it up here. You went through just about everything, I think. We don't, don't have any more questions. Um, so we thank you very much for, for hopping on and walking through this. For everyone on here, thank you for joining us. Again, this is uh, WP Scheduled Posts. It's on AppSumo uh, for a limited time for starting at just $39. Again, it's all backed by AppSumo's 60-day guarantee. So feel free to get it plugged in, get some of your posts scheduled, get them out to the world. If you have any questions, you can ask us on the AppSumo deal page. And I'm sure you can also reach out to the WP Scheduled Post team as well. Um, Asif, do you have any, any last things you want to say before we sign off? Uh, just, uh, I, I want to actually personally thank AppSumo and all the uh, AppSumo links. Uh, I love this community. Uh, we are uh, like passionately working with WordPress for a long time. We are kind of like people who uh, love to do everything in WordPress. Uh, this is a product very close to my heart. I am personally involved with this project for a very long time. And with the kind of feedback we have already got in just two days, there's so many ideas, so many very interesting ideas that I have never thought about. I'm really mm -hmm. excited about the future of this project. And we have a, a large team. Uh, I have a dedicated team of five people only for this product. And we look forward to keep uh, developing it uh, for a long time. And uh, we look forward to have like more feedback from the Shumo links. Uh, until uh, next time, uh, goodbye to everyone. Great. Thank you so much, Asif. Appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.